what's up Alicia here so I'm gonna be doing a part two to the video that I did back in November called best Christian books to read I'll go ahead and put the suggested link above here you guys can go ahead and click it to see where this video is going to stem from for me personally I am a reader but I've kind of been tired of reading lately or I just don't have the energy to read. I've been listening to podcasts or audiobooks. I'm going to be linking in the description box below the audiobooks through Amazon. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family. Okay, let's get into the audiobooks. One of the books that I talk about in the original video was this book called Your Comeback by Tony Evans. It's your past doesn't have to determine your future. This book is basically if you believe you've fallen too far or experienced too much defeat to ever be used in mighty ways by God, you need a glimpse of real hope. And then he sheds light into scripture and a lot of stories that are presented in the Bible to where God turns things around. And if he does it in scripture, of course he can do it for you. So if you want this and you're not a reader or whatever, get the audiobook. Cool. I talked about another book by Tony Evans called Watch Your Mouth. It's called Understanding the Power of the Tongue. And this book basically talks about how what comes out of your mouth is actually a deeper issue. It's a heart issue. It reflects what goes on internally. Like when you go to a doctor's office and they look in your mouth, they check in your mouth because they can see underlying issues. So same thing with the words that come out of your mouth. It's what's going on inside. Like if you have anger, that's what's going to come out of your mouth. Jealousy, that's what's going to come out of your mouth. Selfishness, that's how you're going to speak. In this book too, he says that we don't do enough studies on the mouth and I completely agree with that. I think this is a must read for every believer. Okay, anyway, there's an audiobook for this too, again, in the description box. One of my favorite books that again, just like Watch Your Mouth, I think it is a must read for every believer. It's called Gay Girl Good God. This is what the book looks like. I don't have it because I have a friend borrowing it, but it's by Jackie Hill Perry. If you guys don't know her, please go check her out. I'm going to read to you guys the back of the book so you guys can get a feel for what this book is about. It says, I used to be a lesbian and gay girl good God, author Jackie Hill Perry shares her own story, offering practical tools that helped her in the process of finding wholeness. Jackie grew up fatherless and experienced gender confusion. She embraced masculinity and homosexuality with every fiber of her being. She knew that Christians had a lot to say about all the above, but was she supposed to change herself? How was she supposed to stop loving women when homosexuality felt more natural to her than heterosexuality ever could? At age 19, Jackie came face to face with what it meant to be made new, and not in a church or through contact with Christians. God broke in and turned her heart toward him right in her own bedroom in light of his gospel. Listen in order to understand, listen in order to hope, or listen in order, like Jackie, to be made new. And I think as Christians, this is a topic that we need to approach correctly. And this book offers us wisdom and knowledge, but there's an audiobook for this, so please check it out if you're not a reader. The next book is Through the Eyes of a Lion, Facing Impossible Pain, Finding Incredible Power. Levi Lusco wrote it, and it's about his daughter when she passed away. I believe she was five years old. This book is meant to prepare us for any hardships that can come up in life and it's also a manual for grieving so if you know anybody that is going through anything like this or has a fear of death or fear of the unknown get this for them or if you are somebody who's grieving this book is going to be marvelous for that the next book is called i don't have enough faith to be an atheist and i think this book is also important for every believer because i think it's important for us to understand apologetics because i think we need to handle the realm of other religions safely and with knowledge and wisdom we need to approach it correctly because we can push people away instead of bringing them to God. It was written by a previous atheist who turned Christian. So I always love hearing from people who have been there and experienced something and then hear from them on the other side. That is super powerful for me and that is what really a testimony is. And scripture tells us in Revelation 12:11, and they have defeated him by the blood of the lamb and by their 
testimony. They did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. That was the NLT version. Another version is the ESV version. And they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So there is power in the word of your testimony. And that's why I love the last three books that I shared, Through the Eyes of a Lion, Gay Girl, Good God, and I Don't Have Enough Faith to Be an Atheist. Not a Fan is about becoming a completely devoted follower of Christ. If you read Matthew, you'll see a lot of people who are fans of Jesus rather than followers. And there's a huge, huge difference. And then I love the sentence in the back of the book. He says, Fans want to be close enough to Jesus to get all the benefits, but not so close that it requires sacrifice. If you're not a reader, check out the audiobook in the description. Okay, another book. Hello, beautiful. You are full of beauty. This book is about seeing yourself the way God sees you, and it is such a powerful thing. It's something that I didn't realize that was affecting me. I didn't view myself the way God viewed me and I was actually gifted this book and when I was gifted the book I began bawling my eyes out because the stuff that I was reading in here were shining a light on my own insecurities. The audiobook for this will be in the description box below. And it's called From Basic Training to Targeted strategies. It really equips us for a good and powerful prayer life. In my video, What Does the Bible Tell Us to Pray About? I bring up the verse that says, for we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces in the heavenly realms. And I used 1 Kings 9, a story from there, to shed what that looks like. So please go check that video out. It's towards the end. It starts at 18 minutes and 8 seconds from the video, what does the Bible tell us to pray about? I'll go ahead and put the suggestion link above here. My question for you is what books do you guys recommend? Please let me know in the comments below. I love books, I love reading, and I'm really into the podcasts and audiobooks right now. So I would love to hear from you guys and see what has benefited you and changed your lives, just like these books have changed mine. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and please share with all your friends and family. And as always, don't forget to take time to spend time in the beautiful word. I will see you guys next Tuesday at 2. Bye!